new year. Who it is? Hi, it's Jana, and I just want to welcome you to my channel. If you're joining me for the first time, or welcome you back if you've been here, you know, once or twice or maybe three times, then thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. Welcome back. And what I want to talk about today is really quick something on New Year's resolutions. No, not how you can make 2018 the most successful year of your life or anything like that, but more along the lines of what you can do instead of setting New Year's resolutions because that shit don't work for everybody. I found a statistic that said that 80, 80, 80% 80 of people who set New Year's resolutions actually fail, I don't like that word, but it's what they use, fail by February. And that's like, I mean, they didn't even make it past the first quarter. So that doesn't mean that something is wrong with the person. That does not mean that they are a failure, but it just means that maybe this whole New Year's resolution goal setting methodology that they were implementing is kind of broken. And so that's why I want to talk about three quick tips today that will hopefully help you to have some success in the new year. Let's get into it. Number one. So instead of setting one of these goals where you have like the deadlines and where it's measurable and specific and all like the smart guidelines, let's say you just kind of think about the things that you would like to do. So just take three things, I'm not even give you categories. I know that sometimes they do that, like a health one and a professional one, and like a personal one. But I just want you to think of three things, three things that you would like to achieve in the new year. So if in 365 days, we're sitting right back here again, then what three things would you have liked to have achieved by then? That's it. Maybe write them down, maybe you don't. I don't give a shit. I just want you to think about them. Number two, let's say that instead of writing down those specific robotic goals where you have to take the baby steps to get to the big end goal, that you kind of do like a hybrid of that and of the non-goal thing. So what I mean by that is that let's say you have an idea of what you want, those three things or more, whatever, or less, you know, no one's judging. And you use like a little bit of structure in the sense that you write them on a sticky note or you see them every day, or you set an alert in your phone that goes off every week or month, you know, whatever works for you. So that way you have something to make you aware of your goal and remind you of it so that you're conscious, it's on the forefront of your mind. But at the same time, it's not that if you don't do a specific thing to reach that goal by a certain deadline, then like pfft, the whole thing goes out the window because it does not, it does not. It does not matter how long it takes you to reach your destination as long as you get there unless you're like doing it for time or some, something. Anyway, you, you see what I'm saying, you see what I'm saying. And lastly, number three, we're just moving on through, told you it's gonna be quick. Number three is fuck it, that's what you say. You're happy where you are, you don't want no changes, your skin is shining, your life is good, then don't do anything, don't do anything. There's no reason that you should stress yourself out and try to come up with ideas and things to change and do just for the sake of doing it. If you're happy where you're at, then it's fine, leave it. Like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That is my philosophy on it. But I do want you to know that, you know, you could, you could always do better. Hint, hint. With that being said, that's it. That's all I've got for you. I just wanted to go over those things super quickly today. And I wanna know now, if you are going to set New Year's resolutions, and if so, what are they going to be? Or are you going to do something else? And if so, what is that going to be? And you know, while you are letting me know those things below in the comments, please, I would also really appreciate it if you would subscribe, maybe like this video. That would that would be really cool. Like you know, you would you would go from like here in my book to like the top of the page, like at least, because you know I want to do more of these things and. I would like to know what you would like to hear more about. So make sure to let me know those things too. Have an amazing and safe 2018. And I look forward to seeing you. Mwah.